So in this tidbit, let's look at UE4's fantastic tool BSP. BSP is a mesh brushes that can be used to create modular meshes and or triggers. This can be used for roughing a level, can be used to create a whole level, or can be used for various other things as well. Let's just go file and let's create a new level. We'll go default. So you'll see we just have a very basic sort of level here. I'm just going to delete uh, this mesh that's already here. I'm just going to delete this also, the player start, because we're not going to be playing. Now, go into modes up here in the tab, and then uh, you want to go down to the BSP tab uh, in placing tab. You can see we have all these different uh, types of brushes here. So a box is, as it says, it's just a, a cube or a box. And you can see down here we have various settings for it. We can change the size of it. Uh, we can change uh, the shape here. And we can also change if it's additive or subtractive. So, say for example, uh, we want to, I don't know, say we want to make uh, two, two ground levels with a stairway um, in between them. Let's just change the size of the Z on this to 10. And let's uh, make it 10 meters squared, oh, 100 meters squared, but 10 by 10. We'll just drag in a linear stair. You can see already we have a very cool uh, stair. And so I'm going to just drag this over here, put it right against the corner, and I'll put it right there. And then I'm just going to uh, select this floor that we've got. I'm going to Alt drag it up to make a new floor. Just line it up uh, here. And now you can see that we have a problem because you know you can't walk through. It's just it's just two floors. So what we want to do, we want to drag a box here, and we want to put it on subtractive. So now it's taking away from uh, any mesh that intersects with it. So you can see there, it's taking away that mesh. So let's just change the size of it. Uh, let's make it match, uh, well, make it what we need. So I am now going to uh, lower the Z of it to 10. And then I'm going to make the X 300. Maybe a bit more. Eh, it's pretty good. So now we have a very nice, uh, simple stairway here. But now, say, uh, say you wanted—I don't know why—but say you wanted to. Well, let's just uh, move this down so it's perfectly flush. Now, say we wanted, for some reason, to have these corners attached to down here. We can go into geometry editing mode. And we can select. This and we can just drag it down. You can see, uh, well, it didn't work perfectly, so we can just control Z. But let me shift select, control select, drag down. And uh, we now have a nice, uh, well, a curve there, I guess. <laughs> um, Optimized, but that won't do anything because this is as um, as optimized as it can be. Uh, but yeah, so that's you can use geometry editing to uh, do whatever you want, really. Uh, but also the reason why um, when moving this down, it delete it. There's nothing there is because this thing, uh, this part, and that part, they're actually uh, separate things. So that's why moving that down uh, doesn't look too good. But now, say that we changed our mind, we don't want this just straight stair anymore. Let's go back into BSP. Let's get a nice curved stair. Put it there. I'm just going to put this on 100 because I like snapping to more perfect. Although, uh, yeah. So let's move this until it's in position. There we go. Uh, and let's just uh, rotate it around. Uh, 180 degrees. There we go. 
And we'll just drag this over till it's flush like that. And now we can uh, select the box brush here. We can move it into the right position. You can see it's in the right position now. Although this is floating on the off the ground, so let's just uh, move it down to be grounded. You can also press end, but I'm not doing it for some reason. Um, and so you can see that we now have, uh, well, it, you can't, you couldn't walk up it, but we now have this. However, we could, uh, as a uh, a cheat, we could use another curved stair. In fact, we'll just duplicate this one. And we can set it to subtractive, and now you have perfect walking error. Um, and so you can do, you can build whatever you want. You can put a sphere in. You can uh, remember there are settings for each one, so you can change the radius. You can change, uh, you can change the tessellation, so how smooth it is. So we want a nice smooth one, and you can uh, you can do this stuff here. Uh, it's it's very powerful tool and by the way uh these aren't just separate meshes you can see that if we select this it there's a bit missing there that's because this is all uh being generated so this is actually all one mesh if it's connected uh so it's yeah it's very good like that so it's not all you can do you you, can, you don't you can't you don't just do this with it you can also apply materials to it so let's say uh let's say we want a nice uh white floor. Let's just look up white. Well, there's nothing white. Okay, then. Let's look up marble. Okay? So now, we can just drag marble on there. Look at that. We have a nice marble floor. Complete with reflections and everything, because the material comes with UE4. Uh, but, say we wanted, uh, well, let's not, let's not type anything. Let's just look for the materials. So what about uh, we could make a let's make it a nice wooden floor. Just drag that on. Make it a nice wooden floor. It's a bit uh the uh, lacquer is a bit uh, faded, but we still have it. Or we can drop this one on. Or let's let's go pine. Actually, it's quite well. It's a bit bright. Actually, let's go this one. Walnut. Nice. Very nice. And uh, let us put this light on movable, so we have shadows. And let's uh, just quickly, just so it looks nicer, go on to lights and we'll go to skylight. And this light source, we'll put it five. Now it, it just looks a little bit nicer. I just have a little, some nice little shadows. I'll just rotate it actually. There we go. Beautiful. Now. Uh, say let's just let's go back into materials and let's let's make let's make the stairs made of brick. Now you can see that when you apply it, it only applies it to that that square or that uh, rectangular polygon there. So let's undo that. So we can select this one, and you can see that we can also select uh, all adjacent wall surfaces. Drag it on. And you can see we have it on all of them. You can see uh, the texture is not aligned with all of them. So let's select them all again and go alignment, align surface plane of wall. And now you can see, voila, they're all aligned. And so it looks like, well, it looks seamless. And for the sake of the fact that they're, that the rest of it, let's just turn off that for a second so we can't see it. Oops. Let's delete it and let's turn this one back into a linear stair. We'll move this over here. Move it up. And floor it with end. And then get another box. And you can see the um whatever material you have selected automatically applies itself. Uh so yeah. 
Very subtractive. Drag it down. You can see it also applies that material to uh, to anything that it uh, intersects with. And let's just make it two sixty. Okay, that looks good. Um, now let's just select all coplanar surfaces, and you can see that it selects uh, all the surfaces that are facing in the sort of same sort of direction. But we don't want that, so let's just select all adjacent wall surfaces, and we will just get our material, have it on there. Well, oh, whoops, I stuffed that up somehow. Let's. Select this, this again. Select all adjacent wall, so wall surfaces. Drag it on. There you go. And you can see that uh, again, it's not aligned, so it's just the line playing a wall. And select all of these by holding control, applying the material to all of them, and align plane of floor. And you can see that we now have a. Well, it looks a bit strange, but we now have a, a floor with a nice staircase. And you can use this to, you know, roughly build out things. And you can also export uh, any of them as as an as an FBX file, if you want to. Uh, so you can export and uh, edit it, and actually turn it into a proper thing if you want. Um, but yeah, it's. It's pretty easy and simple and fast to uh, make stuff with this. So you know you can get a um, you can get a box. Remember, you can make shapes that aren't there. So let's uh, let's make it one thousand by one thousand, and make it uh, four hundred. We'll just drag it up. Remember, we can edit this. So we can go into edit. And we can select these. By control clicking, we can move them in. In fact, I'm just going to do that with 100 snapping set, so it snaps. Oops. So it snaps perfectly. I think that's right. We can make a. Uh, well, we can make a triangular prism. So if you wanted a roof on your house, well, you want it a bit higher than that. But uh, if you wanted it. <laughs> Um, I moved the uh, the just that polygon up and move the whole thing. There we go. So yeah, now you have you can make a roof, you can make walls with it, and uh, you can quickly make anything you want with it. So yeah, if you want to learn more about UE4, then please join me next time.